everyone, I am Namrata Parekh and I am here today as a representative of the International Society of Nephrology social media team for the World Congress of Nephrology 2022. With me today is world-renowned nephrologist Dr. Kamiar Kalantar, who is also one of the distinguished speakers at this year's Congress. He, his is a household name in the world of nephrology, and he has attained international acclaim in the areas of chronic kidney disease, dialysis, and transplantation. He is currently the chief of nephrology at the University of California, Irvine. He has been voted as one of the top physicians of the United States on several occasions. His many, many achievements include being the author of almost a thousand peer-reviewed papers and being the recipient of several NIH grants with him as a principal investigator. He is also the co-chair of the World Kidney Day Initiative. Moreover, he is the editor-in-chief of the Journal of Renal Nutrition and also the president-elect of the National Forum of ESRD Networks. I'm truly honored to have this interview with him. Thank you, Dr. Zadeh, for being with us here today. Thank you for your kind introduction. Uh, such a great honor and pleasure for me to be here. So my first question to you is, how do you do it? I mean, you have had such a brilliant and spectacular career. What drives you? What is it that inspires you as a nephrologist? Yeah, the, the, the fact that uh, I feel I can serve people with kidney disease or at risk of kidney disease, number one, number two, having great uh, co-workers, collaborators, great people, people like yourself and like Fernanda, and, and here where I am, I, I continue to learn from them. And that gives me a lot of energy when I see uh, people working hard for the cause of helping people with kidney disease or at risk of kidney disease. That is amazing. Could you tell us something about some of the exciting projects you are currently involved in? Uh, well, uh, some of them include uh, uh, health literacy for uh, people uh, related to kidney disease. That means essentially health literacy with focus on kidney care. Uh, and, uh, and I'm learning from uh, great colleagues who have collaborated with the World Kidney Day 2022 with this focus and topic, including Professor Ann Bonner, who is the Dean of School of Nursing uh, in Australia. So the other ones are also uh, related to conservative management of kidney disease by deferring or delaying dialysis if possible, among others, including nutritional uh, interventions. That's awesome. So at the Congress, you are talking about healthcare sector and social media. And as a social media person myself, I'm really intrigued by this. Could you tell us something about your talk? Well, this is a, uh, about uh, what we just discussed. I mean, that means the, uh, the theme of the uh, War Kidney Day 2022, uh, which is about health literacy, bridging the gap in uh, kidney care education and literacy. The definition of health uh, literacy with, uh, with uh, focus on kidney care and kidney health, and also the use of social media. We have used social media, uh, including for kidney care uh, education and kidney care in awareness, and then at the same time, we declare that 2022 is the year of uh, health literacy, which is, has a very well-defined uh, approach, systematic definition to health, health, care, health literacy. And now the question is how in 2022, we can really make these different uh, concepts related to each other. That means how we can even more focusedly use social media for increasing health literacy, the, the systematic definition of health literacy, different types of health literacy. And, uh, and, and, uh, and I learned myself a lot from this. That's why I mentioned Professor Ann Bonner, who is a, 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 a quite a renowned expert and opinion leader in health literacy in kidney care, right? And, and uh, until now, maybe we weren't aware of the 
the use of social media in health in in, in uh, uh, advancing health literacy. But then 2022 uh, working days theme would would enable us to work to that direction. And as we are doing sometimes things without knowing that uh, we are we are contributing to some cause, and that was the cause of health literacy. And I think it will really help all of us to, in 2022 and, and uh, during this and after this lecture and, and with the work community in March to know that, oh my God, I really have contributed with my social media to improving health literacy. So now you can be proud of that, uh, Fernanda and, and uh, uh, Namrata, that you guys have done this without even having uh, systematically uh, 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 define that as one of the objectives of your social media platforms. Different social media from Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, or even uh, even in the paper that's coming in Kid International, we may, we have a table. Table two is on social media. It has it's a very nice table. You guys are hopefully gonna like because it compares different social media. For example, one thing I don't know uh, if you guys know that Facebook has by far more people following compared to uh, Twitter. We in nephrology, we feel Twitter is, uh, is, is used more frequently. Facebook has over 2 billion subscribers as compared to, it's like 2.7 billion. And I put it in my presentation as compared to Twitter, which is 400 million, still a large uh, number of people, but it's a fraction. Of that, so it, and and then one of the slides shows essentially the impact of these different platforms and across different uh, uh, people, different uh, professionals, and 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 pe persons with kidney disease, family members. Facebook and Instagram is uh, apparently has even a larger outreach compared to Twitter. LinkedIn actually is more for professionals, for instance, uh, and it's not even listed among top twenty. Okay, so yeah. it's quite interesting uh, to talk about this. And then also the, the benefits uh, of social media uh, in terms of education and the risk that could happen. And I compare one of the, the risks, like a risk of driving a car and having a, a car accident. But does it mean that we should not use social media? Because a lot of people tell professionals, hey, if you want to have a career, don't ever think of using social media, right? So I don't know if you guys have heard of that. And, and uh, or I don't know if people use it as an excuse because they are very, everybody's busy and, and everybody wants to have an excuse not to use it. Hey, social media, you, you post something carelessly and you, your entire career is gone, right? So, so these are part of the, some of the discussions we have had uh, uh, in this 20 minute presentation. I know that I'm really looking forward to your talk and I encourage all our delegates not to miss out on what is sure to be a really fascinating discussion. Thank you so much for sparing the time for today's interview. My pleasure.